Hello friends, uh, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic Monte Carlo, Carlo Analysis. Uh, friend, today we will discuss this topic with respect to project management and uh, we will see that with respect to project management, PMI or PMBOK project management body of knowledge, what is the importance of Monte Carlo Analysis. So uh, today we will discuss this topic in detail with respect to Monte Carlo Analysis. Uh, friend, let me tell you that uh, I will try my level best to explain you the concept of Monte Carlo analysis in a very simple and easy to understand manner. I will uh, try my level best that uh, I will not go into nitty-gritties of project management. I will just I just want to give you the uh, concept of uh, Monte Carlo so that it can be very helpful for you in your uh, uh, either if you are a student and studying project management in any university or you are planning to give exam of PMP. Friend, uh, if we talk about exam point of view, this topic Monte Carlo is important and uh, you will definitely see this topic in exam and at least uh, uh, you can say seven to eight questions will definitely see, uh, you will see in the exam of PMP, uh, which are directly related to uh, Monte Carlo or uh, you will see this topic in the uh, multiple choice options. Here this is very important to understand friend that uh, Monte Carlo you don't need to uh, calculate the simulation or uh, calculation for Monte Carlo. You don't need it because uh, there are many softwares are available like Microsoft etc which gives you the simulation of Monte Carlo. So you don't need to worry about that how you will calculate the Monte Carlo. The important thing is that you have to understand the concept of Monte Carlo that why what is Monte Carlo what is its importance and why it is important to know about Monte Carlo and how we can use this technique in our uh, in our professional life. So friend in the exam remember one thing that uh, it will never ask you to calculate or simulate the Monte Carlo. They will ask you they will give you different or multiple scenarios and check the uh, check that how much you know how 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 uh, how much your concept about Monte Carlo is clear. So as a uh, if you are a student and studying project management uh, in uh, in the university or you are uh, planning to give an exam of PMP. So friend the most important thing is that your concept should be clear. Remember one thing that if we talk about PMP exam it's a very tough exam and in the exam they will uh, give you multiple choice options which are very close to each other and uh, uh, they will check your concept they will give you scenario and they will check how much clear how much no you know about the uh, Monte Carlo. Secondly if you are a professional and working as a project manager in any organization again it is important to know about Monte Carlo why because friend uh, this is a technique of risk management and you know that as a project manager if you are already working as a project manager somewhere in any organization so you must know that risk is very important you as a project manager you should have a uh, clear visibility about the risk and you should have a response planning also that what are the risk and how you will handle the risk in the if it occur how you will handle it so friend uh, first of all um, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start Monte Carlo analysis. So let's discuss this uh, technique in detail. What is Monte Carlo analysis? First of all, um, <coughs> if you just see from the uh, title Monte Carlo analysis. So just see from here analysis. So it is an analytical technique. Okay. So what is analytical? What type of analytical technique? Friend, this is a risk analysis, uh, risk uh, calculation or risk uh, uh, pertaining to risk management. Monte Carlo. Uh, this technique we normally used when we talk about uh, risk management. What does that mean by risk? Uh, friend, in, uh, if you talk about uh, project management, uh, in project management risk is you can say anything which can positively or negatively impact your project. Are you getting my point? For example, uh, for example if it uh, negatively impact it will become an issue or if it positively impact your project it will become an opportunity for you for example uh, you can say uh, you can say you are working you are uh, 
uh, for example you are releasing a new project or marketing uh, project uh, for some product in a market and uh, you are using the some new advertisements okay so there are there is a high risk that uh, you have involved a new approach of advertisement there is a high risk that people may like it or people may not like it so uh, what is the uh, negative impact negative impact is that if they don't like your new approach of advertisement they will definitely it will impact your product so it will become a threat or uh, it will become an issue for you if they don't like your approach okay uh, marketing approach so this is the negative impact and the second thing is that uh, if they like your advertisement approach it will become an opportunity for you and your product will uh, will sell more so uh, it is the uncertain condition risk is a uncertain condition which will positively or negatively impact your project uh, if it negatively impact it will become an issue if it positively impact it will become an opportunity for you okay so remember one thing what is risk risk is a uncertain condition about project which can positively or negatively impact your project positively impact it will become an opportunity negatively impact it will become an issue for you okay now coming towards our main topic monte carlo analysis friend monte carlo analysis is a risk uh, risk management technique it means to be used to analyze the impact of risk on your project for example if this risk occur how will it affect your schedule and the cost of the project monte carlo give you a range of possible outcome and probabilities to allow you to consider the likelihood of different scenarios friend basically it give you a simple uh, probability statistics statistics that how much chances are there if this scenario occurs in different scenarios in different scenarios it will give you a probability and likelihood so this is called the uh, main concept of Ma uh, monte carlo it is a technique which we use in risk analysis and uh, basically it give you a uh, some sort of simulation you can use microsoft and any other tool for to calculate this monte carlo but you don't need to consider the how to calculate basically you need to understand the concept so basically if gives you uh, uh, different outcomes and probabilities in different scenarios okay so this is called the concept of uh, monte carlo let me give you a uh, example here for example let's say you don't know how long your project will take you have a rough estimate of the duration of each product's project task using this you also come up with the best case scenario optimistic and the worst case scenario pessimistic duration for each task so if you use the uh, monte carlo analysis here it will tell you that 2% of chances of completing the project in 12 months this is the optimistic approach then the 15% chances of completion within 13 months 55% chances of completion within 14 months 95% chances of completion within 15 months and 100% chances of completion within 16 months this is the pessimistic or worst case scenario so here uh, friend just see this uh, this uh, probability or likelihood here it tells you that if anything uh, if if we use from the optimistic timelines you can complete it in 12 months and maximum it can go in the for 12 till, till 16 months so you can imagine you can uh, calculate that if everything goes well and ideal condition you can complete it in 12 months and if if everything worst case scenario the possible worst case scenario it will complete it in 16 months so you can say if and everything goes right you will complete it in the 12 months and if anything goes wrong and the worst case scenario worst case scenario worst to worst case scenario you will complete it in the 16 months so it gives you a range and likelihood or probability statistics to complete a project so that is called the concept that is called the concept of uh, monte carlo friend the benefits of monte carlo analysis is that it provides early identification of how likely you are to meet project milestones and deadlines it can be used to create a more realistic budget and a schedule predict the likelihood of a schedule and cost overrun qualifies risk to assess impact uh, impact better provides objective data for decision making so these are the very high level benefits uh, friend are there the, if you see just from here friend uh, basically it tells you the 
probability and likelihood if we just see from here if you use the Monte Carlo analysis it's giving you basically a range so you know that if in the uh, uh, best case scenario you will complete uh, the project in 12 months and the, in the worst case scenario you can complete it in the 16 months so basically a uh, friend it gives you a, a site uh, a for you can foresee you can foresee a range at a very early stage of a project and you can take decisions accordingly so remember one thing friend Monte Carlo is a, a risk analysis technique which we use it to uh, um, calculate or uh, to know about the likelihood and probability of the risk and we use it to uh, find out the uh, find out the scenario if we have different scenarios so we can find out different ranges different probability and likelihood uh, of the scenarios and we can see the impact of uh, risk if it occur uh, 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 and we can calculate the ranges accordingly so that is called the concept of Monte Carlo I have tried my level best to explain you the concept of Monte Carlo in a very easy to understand matter uh, remember one thing you don't need to simulate it you don't need to calculate it in the exam you just need to know the concept and uh, the what is why it is important and what is the concept of Monte Carlo so friend that's all from my side I hope uh, you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot and for your time and that's all from my side thank you